Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Now back with some more card uh, card holder wallet content. Mainly because I just I just love wallets. There's something kind of cool about them. I really appreciate minimalist wallets as well. And I noticed that the up card holder version 2 had been released from Alpaca. So I got one because I knew you guys really would like to have a look at this. Now what I'll do is, as I usually do, is I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look. So here we have the up card holder from Alpaca. Um, fairly typical Alpaca style packaging. It, it's nice, it's minimal, it does just exactly what it needs to do and, and, and nothing more. You're paying for what's inside rather than the actual packaging itself. Says so the name on the front and then on the back you can see it's designed in Australia. Uh, and it's assembled in Shenzhen, China. Okay, so opening this up, uh, it just peels open. You can see that uh, the, the the great team from down under just want to make sure that they say thank you for making the purchase. Um, and this can then be recycled. And here we have the up card holder version two. Now, I love my minimalist wallets. I really, really do. This is tiny. This really is tiny. Especially because this is a stitched card holder rather than a card holder where your cards, it's certainly those, the, the, the newer type where you press them. And it's, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Now, as we usually do, we'll go through measurements, we'll look at some materials, and then we'll have a look around the actual uh, card holder wallet itself. As far as measurements come in, it's just about 92 millimeters by just about 63 millimeters. So I suppose it's going to be the same on the back. Uh, if you after that in old money, that comes in at two and a half inches by roughly three and five eighths of an inch. Now, just to compare this, so here is a standard. I mean, it's it's it's, it's a blank one, but here is a standard card. And you can see just how close the stitching is around, around your card. The main reason that they can do this and, and have that stitching so close to the end is the material that this, this is made from this. So this is, I'm just gonna hold this up like that so I can catch this in the light. So this is made from X-Pack material. X-Pack material, uh, also referred to as sailcloth. Um, it was, I believe it was designed by, sorry but that was my phone, I probably should have had that turned off. It was designed by the Americans and made by the Germans, but I always get it the wrong way around. It might have been designed by the Germans and made by the Americans. Uh, but this is the type of material that you will see in the Olympics on their uh, boats when they're doing the, uh, the, the Olympic sailing, which the Brits are absolutely amazing at. Um, it is well known for being ridiculously tough. It is incredibly hard to tear, and also it has some hydrostatic qualities as well to make sure that you know water will just bead off it which you'd expect uh, when it's used in maritime kind of affairs uh, around it so on the front here I'm not sure whether this is real leather kind of smells like real leather so you've got a little accent there on the front a second accent on the back and then there is a pull tab with some really nice uh, webbing on that pull tab as well as far as your cards are concerned, so it has a little up card holder version too. I carry six cards on a daily basis. I am really into minimalist carry as far as my wallet is concerned. It just makes sure that you think more about what you carry and get rid of all of those receipts from, I don't know, last Christmas and probably the Christmas before. So what I will tend to do with this is on the front, I will have the uh, debit card that I use the most. On the reverse, which I, I guess really is a reverse or back, depending on how you're looking at it. Um, I'll keep my ID in there and then the other four cards. Now, for now, I'm just going to take two because when I put that in there, those two go in with ease. The third card goes in again with ease. The fourth card. It's now a bit of a push. Oh, actually, if I slide that in there, it is still a bit of a push, but you can get that in now. So how long have I had this? I've had this a few days now. The material's starting to give just a little bit. It will give ever so slightly. 
I'd say if you've got six cards, if you're a six card carry like this, then after a while those six cards will, it will just push out a little bit on the corner and I shouldn't have any more difficulties getting those in and out. Now to get them out, it's very simple. You can pull on this and then they will come out. Now what I'm gonna do is just to prove that this passes the defunct international shake test. I'm sure you can imagine these are definitely not gonna come out, but I am shaking that for all that I am worth and yeah, they are not gonna come out. But I will say, once they are in there, you're really not gonna fit much more in there. It's a bit of a struggle to get that in. I'm sure there's a that's what she said joke there somewhere. Um, but yes, it will definitely fit the six cards that I carry. Oh, <laughs> um, now, what I will say is, so on the top here where the stitching is, you might have seen that there. So when the card goes in, the card just sits underneath this stitching. So if you push down on it, the card will grip on that stitching um, just there. Again, you know, it, it's just something so that when, when you do it, all you need to just make sure you pull that corner down or do it in such a way that, you know, you can get at that so that it goes over the, um, over the stitching there at the top. I've not really got any worries that that stitching will get damaged or fray after a while, mainly because I do know that Alpaca always make sure that they use the highest quality thread that they can get. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just something to think of when, when you're getting it out. If you just pull that over after a while, muscle memory, you'll just do that. Um, and it'll just clip that, or at least miss that stitching there at the top. Just, just two, 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 to compare this against some other cards. Let's get, let's push that tab back in again, some other card holders. Now, I didn't show this off before, because I do actually have both of these. So this is the Arc Wallet, and this is the Up card holder version two. So if I put them on top of each other, You'll be able to see, hopefully, that the uh, that the up card holder is is definitely smaller. It might be difficult to see in this light, actually, um, mainly because this is a double stack, so that you can put a card there and then a card there, so that you can get them out. Uh, but as far as the width of them is concerned, they're they're certainly very comparable as far as the width is. Um, so this is the one that I have been using, especially over Christmas, and it. I mean, I said this before and I'll say it again, it is a freaking beast. This is the Rugged Materials wallet and I mean, it's just it's just a huge chunk of uh, huge chunk of steel. But putting them on top of each other, the uh, the up is ever so slightly bigger. And the main reason for that is that you've just got this stitching around the outside there. Whereas where you when you compare them um, stacked like that, the up is is not even half the uh, half the width of the material wallet, the, the rugged materials wallet. Next up, we have the C2 from Foxed Wallets. Again, this is another little pull tab, really nice, small, minimalist wallet. And this one is pretty much exactly the same size, mainly because the leather on the Foxed Wallet curls round the side there. So just that extra piece of the fold round is roughly the same distance of the stitching on the outside of it here as well. So very comparable in size. Next up we have the Atenuo wallet, which is again really nice, sexy, minimal, all black. It's, it's just a really nice wallet. But when I put them on top of each other just like that, you'll be able to see that they do almost cancel each other out. So the additional stitching on here to make sure that the wallet doesn't fall apart and the fold there is the same as having a wallet that you can put in like that. Oh, sorry, I had to do that off camera there for a second. Very nice. This thing is tiny. The last one to show off, which I have made some content on as well, this is uh, the Armour Wallet. Sorry, this is the Axwell Wallet. Um, and putting that on top of there, again, you can see, you know, this is only ever so s small, and that's mainly because the Axwell wallet um, is, you know, it's, it's roughly the same size of a card, isn't it? This is nice. If you're into your minimalist wallets and you want something that is small as you possibly can get, maybe you're like me, but you 
carry a few less cards than I do. The up card holder version two, this is sweet. I really do think that Alpaca have hit it out of the park with this one. I'm a massive, as I've said probably several times, a massive minimalist wallet fan and this is possibly as minimal as you can get, making you really decide what you need to carry and what is just superfluous and just not needed whatsoever. But it's also Alpaca doing what Alpaca do best and that's taking great quality materials, sourcing them so that you know it's it's all in here and it just comes together into a perfectly formed minimalist wallet now i'll leave some links below if you'd like to see more from this wallet and also if you'd like to see more from alpaca as well but for now stay safe stay morelander stay edc it's snowing it's probably a stupid thing to film outside but hey ho so here we have the up card, the up card, the get out of jail card. <laughs>